not here at Lowe's today, we're going to um, jump into loose leash heels. So we're in the garden section, a lot of people here on this Friday afternoon. And um, so what I'm wanting Scar to do is stay close to me. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of slack in my leash. Um, usually it's enough so that I can, you know, scratch my face, take a phone call, whatever it is, and um, and keep him next to me. Now it's it's pretty warm out today, so he's looking for shade. Um, he's, uh, he's a little hot, but not too hot. Uh, so... We'll be, um, be spending some time outside in loose leash heel. We might even work on some place or something and then uh, just, just roll with it. So um, follow along. Let's see how he does. All right. Um, it's car. Good heel. Good boy. Good boy. Right here. Good heel. Uh-uh. Heel. Good. So when we're walking in loose leash heel, I'm looking for this J-loop right here. Oh, excuse us. If he ever tightens like that, then I'm gonna tap it right now on his e-collar at a four. Uh, a four, most humans won't feel that on their hand. Heel. Uh, but I'm using it to get his attention back to me. Good, heel. Scar, a boy, excuse us. Heel, leave it. Now, Scar really loves people, so that's his biggest biggest distraction point here. And there's a part of me that allows it to, to a certain degree because potentially one of his jobs when he goes home is going to be as a, a therapy dog. So uh, so going to people and greeting them kindly uh, and with manners is important, um, but I got to make sure that they're okay with it before I just turn them loose. So for now, we're just going to keep him close to us and keep his attention uh, focused on me. Go next to this um, equipment here and um, get him used to that. Good, good boy, good heel. Come on, place. Come on, let's go. Got a boy right here, place. Good, sit. Good boy, good place, good sit. Good boy. All right, so what we did is we placed him on this object. Now, Lowe's changed thing, some things up, um, and so this is as best we can do for a place uh, position at this point. But um, uh, but what I like about it is it's got clearly defined boundaries, so I'm looking for an edge. I like the elevation. Uh, that gives him a little bit more confidence. Believe it or not, as big and uh, burly as this dog is, he actually has low confidence when it comes to getting up on things. So really kind of pushing him to, um, to get out of his comfort zone and get up on these, on these um, areas. He wants me to love him so bad. So i get him up here, I'll put him into a sit um, and get him to hold that. Now, we're working for three things here. We're looking for duration first, um, distance second and distractions third so right now just putting them in place uh, for duration so take this into the home that could be putting them onto a place cot or a dog bed when company comes over and I'm gonna uh, stand there next to him and just kind of make sure that he's holding holding that position uh, so that he doesn't be too overpowering with the guests that come over especially little kids so that's a good duration that's also a good distraction here not a lot of distractions at the moment um, and so uh, so we'll just roll with it here but um, but I can create some distance and um, and that builds in its own distraction so uh, we put them on place good boy good place good sit good boy good boy yes now when I come back around I can do one of two things. I can call him to me um, and expect him to come straight to me and go into a sit, or because that was kind of a challenge for him, I can break and reward him. Break! Good boy. Yes, good job. Good job, big guy. Good job. All right, let's take him inside, see how he does. So uh, on um, greeting manners, what we're looking for there is exactly what he did. He approached, went into a sit, and uh, it wasn't overpowering with a little girl, okay? With the, the older man that came by here, uh, he stayed on, on all fours, but he never tried to jump. 
um, didn't try to paw, just kind of leaned in, which seems to be his MO. Um, really, really good with people, really loves that attention, and um, but he doesn't demand it. So he's not nipping at them, he's not pawing at them, he's not jumping on them. All great things. Um, all in all, his manners have uh, has improved tremendously. So love where he's at with that. Scar, yep. All right, so an off-leash heel, same rules apply. I want to keep them right here next to me, uh -uh. but I'm going to be fairly liberal on, um, on the e-collar. I say that. I've been clicking it, and he's at a zero now. So let me turn that back up to a four. That kind of shows you where he's at on his obedience. He's doing pretty good. Um... <laughs> That's a wrap. Scar did a great job over the last two weeks. Um, really think he has a lot of potential um, beyond his being a family dog. Um, he's so personable, has such a, a great disposition to him, uh, excellent temperament um, with other dogs, with people. It doesn't matter. He wants to be everybody's friend. Um, and this right here is where he excels. He's not overpowering. Um, he, he wants to be here for me. Um, and uh, and just loves loves to love and loves to be loved um his obedience is on par you know he's doing really good uh he can hold a sit he can hold it down um he'll he'll place uh his heel is excellent his leech manners are good um really really think this this dog has a lot of potential so thrilled with where he's at excited to see where he's going and <laughs> and can't wait to hear the report as he goes home so thanks for watching stay tuned to the rest of the videos